Hey, hey, so I just have to take another personal video because there was so much going on lately and I just want to keep you updated about it. So the first thing was the new video that I uploaded this morning at like, <laughs> what was it, 6 a.m. in the morning or so. Uh, yeah, it was so much work to do it because um, like many things went wrong. <laughs> Basically, I recorded it last week on Friday, but then I was not happy with it. I just didn't like it. So I thought I just remake it again. I record it again. So um, yeah, I did that. But then what happened was that the battery of my laptop um, went out of energy. <laughs> and then, yeah, I forgot to plug it in. I, I mean, it had like 18% I, and I thought, okay, I mean, I guess it still works and I can like push it until 5% or so, then I plug it in. But then suddenly it shut down, like the computer was shutting down and I was like, fuck. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, the video was still there, but it was corrupted, so I couldn't use it. That means I had to do it again, but I also did that. And I finally then cut it and I was rendering it. But you know, every time a video is done, I'm gonna check it to see for any errors or issues. And there were some minor issues, so I had to correct them and re-render it again. But then what happened with that version, there was also like a tiny um, error or issue in that video. And um, I had like, I uploaded it already to YouTube and. YouTube, I did everything basically but then like this I noticed that error and then I thought like fuck I need to re-render it now and then upload it also again to all these platforms so but I also did that and now it's finally done and I was going to bed at like yeah 7 a.m. or so this morning but you know it's also not that I don't like doing this I mean I really love doing these videos it just feels great to also, um, yeah, get something out there, to create something and um, yeah, just for the sake of creating and because you like doing it. Um, to me, it's also a little bit like um, eating food. Like if I don't do anything related to making these videos or doing something for the trade free directory or so, um, then I feel like I'm starving. It's just like... Yeah, I don't get food and then there's also dessert like if you enjoy life if you go for a walk or relax and chill or meet people and so on but if you only eat dessert then um, yeah you get fat and it's also like not sustainable and that's why I also try to keep a balance but I want to keep um, having at least um, like one video per week so it's also important to have a balance but you know I'm so passionate about these things so I really I just feel the urge of doing something um, but then I also had to work I was working in a warehouse for an online pharmacy basically you know I had this walking trail at subways and then also in the bakery but I think I stick now with the warehouse because it's okay, the work is alright and the colleagues are also cool, so let's see how that goes. And if I go there like twice a week, I think it's totally fine to also sustain myself. Um, but yeah, I was also working. And then another thing I was doing was the food sharing thing. You know, food sharing is this organization who basically saves fruit which is being or which is about to be thrown away from either supermarkets or from uh, restaurants or so so they are just saving food because they are saying like if you throw it away if you throw it in a bin let's just give it to us or other organizations and we can distribute it and um, make use of that food because I mean it's just so ridiculous if you think about it that one third of all the food which is being produced is thrown away like on a planet where millions of people are starving and don't have enough food. So it's just insane. But I mean, that's our trade-based society we are living in. And I think food sharing um, and other organizations are doing a great job in, um, yeah, just like not wasting that much resources. Of course, it's not a like kind of solution, but they also say that in the end, their goal is to become obsolete um, because that would mean that no food is being wasted. 
But as far as I know, it's only available in Germany, Austria and Switzerland so far. But maybe there are also some international groups now, I'm not sure about that. And then another thing is dumpster diving, where people just, yeah, like, I mean, search in the trash of a supermarket for any food, which is still um, okay to eat. Um, so yeah, now I will show uh, like a series of pictures from all the food I was saving basically because otherwise it would have been thrown away. Yo yo, I just came back from food sharing and look what I just got. I got so much bread and baguette and so many bakery things. It's really crazy. And um, yeah, it's just interesting because you think like maybe there's a scarcity of things on this world, but in fact we have an abundance of stuff. Also, <laughs> you know, I was go driving with a bike um, one day in Leipzig and then I came across a Mercedes store and other like um, car brands, like stores. And um, yeah, what I saw there was like a complete waste of cars, like just cars standing around not being used. And I also recorded some stuff there, I just wanted to show it to you now. Yo yo, I'm right now at the Mercedes and VW store in Leipzig and I just want to show you all that car madness. I mean, can you see those cars? They are all not used. Also on the other side. Look at all those cars, I mean... Um, because if you think about it, these are all resources that we can use to, um, I don't know, create renewable energies or um, create autonomous cars or also, I don't know, sustainable transportation systems like trains and all that. But yeah, it's, they are just standing around <laughs> not being used. Another example of how inefficient and ridiculous this trade-based society we are living in really is. So um, yeah, you might wonder what, what about the study, um, how is that going and you know um, I'm trying to follow, to keep up uh, with like all the stuff that we get. I'm reading also a lot of texts and so on um, but you know I'm also taking it easy because if you think about it then like what is life about? Is life about like to work all the time, to study like all your time that you have in order to get a job and then uh, just work all the time having a family and then yeah until you retire and that's it? I don't think so. Um, since we also can automate like most of the jobs we have today like there's also this author called David Graeber who uh, wrote a book called Bullshit Jobs. So yeah, it's just ridiculous. And I mean, I was also talking to medicine students and now I don't want to judge at all, um, all medicine students or any other kind of group. But what I got, like what I, like what my impression was from these students was that they are also bombarded with stuff. So they are learning all the time, kind of. And they know a lot about their field, like they know a lot about medicine and how the human body works and diseases, how they spread and how to treat them and all of that. But they don't know about data collection or like this social credit system in China. And um, yeah, this overall um, trade-based society we are living in, since that's the force that pushes people to like create problems and all that. So, um, yeah, it's just like, I think you also need to have a kind of general overview of the world, um, getting to know as many different things in different fields, um, and then you can also specialize yourself in other domains. Like, of course, we need specialized um, doctors who know a lot about certain diseases like cancer and so on or also engineers who know a lot about physics and math and also how to create engines and robots and so on. But yeah, it's also important to need to know what's going on on planet Earth because eventually if we don't sustain ourselves here, like then all this highly sophisticated knowledge is worth nothing. 
so yeah i think um that was it for this video i think i need to cut my hair i think they are quite long right now what do you think <laughs> i mean yeah maybe i do it next week or so um so yeah that was it for this video i'm just gonna say as always take care and much love